Hi everyone. I wanted to show you my new and improved home candle. This is probably the third version that I've made and I, I this is the best. I knew I needed something uh, better to float than a plastic top of a bottle. This is a piece of cork and I got this idea from Plan In Prepare. That's Plan N Prepare. P-L-A-N capital N Prepare. Create a floating candle on used vegetable oil. So this is a piece of cork I had left over from a wine bottle and I sliced a piece of it off, poked a hole in it with a nail, covered it with foil and stuck this uh, little tiny wick that I have from a floating candle kit I got at Hobby Lobby. They're teeny teeny tiny little wicks and so I made the hole small and I knew I needed something better than a plastic top from a bottle. That's it. It's just I took three-eighths of an inch approximately of cork and the same amount of oil on the top of the water here and um, poked the end of the wick through the other end to absorb the oil. So, you know, according to how big the rope or the wick is that you're using, how long it is, you need to slice the cork accordingly so that there's not too much of it floating underneath the cork but still having it absorb the oil for the wick to get soaked with oil you know so that the wick can burn so I mean for me this is absolutely necessary I love illumination for, uh, from fire I love the glow as I've said before, I dive into the candle flame psychologically. It's, uh, it's very, very calming and yet rejuvenating. It helps me psychically. It can help me have a dream to give me information. But it's also, for me, very comforting. More so than light bulbs that are just low around the room. Also, I had this dolphin that I bought years ago. And I recently heard someone say that they thought Oshun and Yamaya were mermaids because they're so closely associated to the, the water, you know, as a water deity. And that could have been part of the reason why I bought this. But in any event, you know, I love water and this reminded me of a crystal ball and I love dolphins and there was two of them and it's blue so it fits and then I had this little blue flower incense holder I think was given to me by someone and then of course the blue goblet I got at Goodwill for 25 cents or 10 cents it's my sacred water goblet and it's blue and what I usually do is, um, for many years, what really helped me astral travel at night after reading the tarot cards was to gaze at the reflection of the flame on the blue goblet. Now, I've experimented with different colored glasses, and when I used my yellow coffee cup, I had a dream about a man and his finances. So you'll have to experiment with different colored cups but you don't want to stare at the flame directly you need to stare at the reflection of it so there you go there's my million million dollar secret on how to astral travel before you go to sleep <laughs> uh, you can send the money to my paypal me link below <laughs> all right i'm having an open house tomorrow wish me luck i need to sell the house see you on the next video